God knows where your glove is. I don't think you do a good job. At the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. Last game did not go the way that it was planned. Four goals and 26 shots. Starting the preseason, I played two games in about a week's time. I saw a lot of good things, made a lot of change. We got about a two, two and a half week break where there were no games because the games were canceled. And it's like all that went out the window. Over a couple adjustments, a couple of refinements, and I think the season opener on Friday is gonna be a big success. But it's an absolute work week this week. You're just, you're so off balance. Like even when you're fighting through traffic, like you go into a reverse here and you just go like flat, your foot's in the net. And then watch, you never get set, right? I don't think you do a good job of getting a forward hit in your RVH. And that path goes low to high. And you now try to get, try to step out from your reverse. Like you have no leverage on that post and your attack angle is too flat. That you can see that even when you step out, you're never, you never get set and you never get balanced. And then you're just, you're just slow to react. You're trying to get big and get hit. Even when you went reverse to reverse, which was the wrong play, you were able to adapt and you were still able to step out. That was good, like dynamic skating by you. You kind of put yourself in trouble was your reverse was so flat. When you push off that post, you're going the wrong way. The game is too quick now. There's too much lateral movement. Rebounds control is so important nowadays that getting hit just creates rebound. You could tell in the first period you weren't seeing the puck well because you'd make a save and then your head, your first movement on your head was to find a puck and it was the wrong direction. When the second period starts, you looked way more comfortable than me in a second. I took every piece of my equipment off and sprayed myself down with menthol and then went back on the ice. Whatever you gotta do to get ready to One play. of the guys beside me in the room is like, ah, oh, my eyes are burning. I'm like, I know, I need this to help me. I can't move right now. Because you definitely looked more comfortable to me in the second period. Uh, and then the goal that you got yanked on, like that was scramble play kind of a broken play like can't fault you fault you on that i would like to see like if you didn't get yanked there if you're able to kind of battle go through the rest of the game and not give up another one look at your position i'm not ready for a shot at all look at your position you see how far back you are yeah your hands are way back like god knows where your glove is you're trying to reach up to get the puck instead of just keeping it in front of you and turning easy things we can fix it's just little things <laughs> I like Slim Shady. The Ridge Wallet. What possibly more could I tell you? No, seriously, what more could I possibly tell you about this sexy bastard? It's the best wallet in the market. Here's why. When I stress the importance of having a portable, stylish, small wallet, this is what I'm talking about. The Ridge Wallet is smaller than a phone. It's thin, it's got razor clean lines, and most importantly, you can put your cash and cards all in the wallet and not worry about anything popping out. This thing clamps everything nice and tight. And on top of that, you got multiple colors, multiple options, and styles to choose from. You can get a Ridge Wallet, you can get an iPhone case from Ridge Wallet, so you can put all your cards into your iPhone case. How sweet is that? And when you go to RidgeWallets.com and use the promo code TRAVSSOCKS, you can save yourself 10% off. That's the first link in the description, RidgeWallets.com, for 10% off for a smoking deal on some of the best wallets, backpacks, iPhone cases, and battery backpacks. Thanks to Ridge Wallets for paying me to sponsor this video. I love money. Heading in the grocery store, we're gonna test the vlog ability of the one R, see how things look. Indoor colors, I'm making it inside of here. Thanks for coming. Thoughts there, Skippy. Oh. 
you miss the uh, miss the train. You're late. Is it oh. showing flat, a flat color profile? Mm-hmm. Yes, Ooh. it does. By the way, the audio is great. I'm pretty positive you'll be able to hear me here because the audio on the ice is so fantastic. Flat color profile look good. In post, travel probably butcher the color grading though. You're fired. I was just gonna take money out. My bank card works. My visa doesn't work. A couple dozers get her in you. Although it's not a super depressing place, I would say the most depressing thing about being here is the fact that the sun's almost never out. Like it's always cloudy, raining quite frequently. The sun, God, maybe like once a week it'll come out, maybe twice a week if you're lucky. It's a very dark, semi depressing place. You factor that in with the fact that my family is thousands of kilometers away and I'm nowhere near seeing them anytime soon. People say that, you know, having your teammates around is awesome. You know, you're spending time at the rink. I'm at the rink three, four, sometimes five days a week. But when I started this journey of I'm gonna go play pro hockey in Sweden, people thought that, hey, this is awesome. You're chasing your dream. You're doing what you want to do. You're gonna go play hockey and you're finally getting the chance that you wanted. And all that's true. I, I love playing hockey. There's nothing greater in this planet than stepping on fresh ice. It sucks not being close to family, having literally no friends here. Swedes really aren't super social people. They're very introverted people. And, and I find that me, being myself and being what I am, it's not exactly um, attractive to a lot of Swedish people. On another note, a lot of positive things coming up. If you take a look over here, the Insta360 1R, one inch edition of the camera. And it's great news because I've been using it for the last little bit. The quality on these videos with the 360 1R, absolutely game changing. On top of that, a Lefebvre 20.1 six month review. I haven't quite finished the video yet. The whole true Lefebvre merger. I'm gonna touch on all that. Obviously Christmas is coming up. Me, would I love to go home and see my family for Christmas? But one last thing I'll leave you with before we cap this video, because it's probably going on too long. Kex chocolate. This is like my favorite chocolate bar here. I found this new thing. They're basically like Swedish cinnamon buns, not as much sugar, and they got black licorice star anise. I know, odd. They're amazing, and I've become absolutely obsessed with them. They're absolutely quintessential. There's a quintessential to Swedish life that a mask would be in North America. Sorry for rubbing it into everybody in North America that's gotta wear a mask. I love not wearing a mask. As usual, link in the description, promo code TRAVSUCKS for some awesome savings and some awesome products. Go to sidelineswap.com, because I haven't done an ad in a while, and they're probably gonna be cutting me off soon. Thanks for watching, see you later. Vlog too, by the way. Why are you suing me? What do you mean I'm suing you? Sue yourself. You didn't tell me this beforehand. You should always assume it's for the for the vlog. Is that the C on his jer oh. on his jersey? That's our captain. Yeah, Bet that's the guy who left halfway through the game. I don't blame him. Look at what he's done. <laughs> <laughs> he should be ashamed of himself. Oh.